at that outfit. Look at that outfit on Vineberg. I mean, clean neck breaker. Wow. Now Ellsworth acting like he doesn't know what's going on. Catch the whip. There it is. Are you, did you expect anything else? Yes. I, I mean, I thought we were having a match here. I mean, and it looks like we see on the floor Brandon Scott being attacked by Vineberg's winners, Ryan McBride, the King, James Ellsworth, the Weasel. That's a good one. Like that. But Brandon Scott, he's just getting his ass kicked all around the ring right now. The gutter rat. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't the the oh you're doing more the, yes the, the the gum on his shoe the scum the scum around uh, an old man's mouth when he talks too much <laughs> that is James Ellsworth he just sits and, right and in the corner right in the corner and and the company you keep you are as guilty as the company you keep sometimes and King McBride has thrown his hat in the ring with James Ellsworth it looks like we're gonna get this one Brandon Scott, one on one with former WWE superstar and a tick in the armpit of MCW himself. James Ellsworth. I, I do want to say something. I mean, like in general. Like, I don't have anything to say well, right you're, now. You're a but, well, yeah, I'm a commentator. I want to say something here. Uh, but, yeah, but obviously this stems from, you know, some of the stuff that happened uh, at Bruiser Strong. Um, and this being the beef between Brandon Scott and the winner's circle. Yeah. If you remember, it was King McBride. Jesus. King McBride. It was Sam Adonis. It was James Ellsworth. It was that man, Andy Weinberg. The uh, human acid, acid reflux. Puking in your own mouth. In body. What? <laughs> 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 have to down for Mike Keener. Mike Keener, great professional veteran. Nobody does it better than Mike Keener, our that, senior official referee. I feel like it's my favorite. You keep saying he's the face of a baby. He's like, an older man, but like, it's like, it's like, you know, 13. 13 going on 30. As the fans right now are trying to get Brandon Scott back up out of the filthy, nasty clutches of James Ellsworth's arms. Well, James Ellsworth knows how to press an advantage. I will say that. He said, look, I don't feel like fighting head up with Brandon Scott. I'm probably going to get the floor mopped with me. How about this? How about I use the king? How about I use my charge, Andy Weinberg? We attack Brandon Scott from behind, and we can put this one in the bag and go, you know, whatever they do afterwards. I don't know. Well, Mop the, you know, they go sit back in their apartment, smells like cat urine and tater tots. I don't know. <laughs> Brandon Scott back out on the floor again, and once again being stomped by the. No, no nothing, nothing benevolent. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The corner of that wooden Ooh, step. Like right in the top of his ribs by his armpit. Right in that soft spot under your armpit in the ribs. Oh. I don't know what's there. Like, what? Huh? I don't know, but whatever's there, it hurts whenever anything touches it. It could cause some internal bleeding. I don't know how bad that shot was, but it was right in the corner. Brandon Scott is a man without a country. He's got no backup. He's going against... James Ellsworth, a former WWE superstar, and King McBride, a man who's won every title, every accomplishment there is here in MCW. Well, I mean, like, you can't really blame anyone for not backing up Brandon Scott considering no one else what do you probably mean? wants to touch James Ellsworth, so it's probably one of those situations yeah, where, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cut your losses, so yeah. Sorry. sorry, bro, we'll catch you at the hospital. Look, Brandon Scott has been uh, fighting this this battle now for a minute. We saw Action Andretti in our opening contest here on Autumn Armageddon Deacon. Yeah, yeah. and it, what a contest that was. What an amazing match that was. But also, Action Andretti's had his problems with Feinberg and the winners. Yes, that's right. That's what I wanted. And I see you were, you, that's what you wanted me to say. And I was just, <laughs> Look, I wasn't there. MCW fans, we give you, uh, we peel back the church. We don't, uh, we, we, yeah, we, we got nothing to hide. We show you how it is and, and we're all just trying to be the best damn wrestling company we can be. Hold on. Not best for the cover, the one, two, and Brandon Scott is able to kick out. Andy Weinberg, though, shouting the uh, directions out there. You see that? He was telling Ellsworth to keep dropping that elbow on Brandon oh, Scott. Yeah. Where, where to go to uh, 
graduate class to learn that and, and, and learn uh, the ins and outs of the professional wrestling ring. I'm sure. Don't don't lose. That's his advice. Yeah. That <laughs> I see where you were going with He's that. He's touching Jay Brony. I can't even look at that outfit. Look at that outfit on Vineberg. I mean. Swinging neck breaker. But I can't, you know, he's got, look, man, the guy's turned some real, some real results over here in MCW. Yeah, that's the one thing you can't deny. Feinberg has made it With King McBride, yeah. Yeah. Don't forget Big Sean Studd. He was, right. he was his manager while he was MCW Heavyweight Champion during the feud with Bruce. So, yeah. Feinberg can get under your skin. He knows how. When you are a manager of a wrestler, you are their representation. You, you, you speak for them and, and, and you also kind of hold on to the cape of Superman, so to speak. You better believe Weinberg has no problem bragging he was a manager of a heavyweight champion before here at MCW. And it looks like we are tuning up the guy beating on the box in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet chin music. Didn't connect. Well, not the whole band. That was worse than we have the whole yeah. band. You know? Well. Oh! Got, got off of it. I mean, he has no chin, oh, but, but Brent, that's right back to the neck. Well, both men are down. Brandon Scott unable to capitalize on the cutter opportunity there. Is have you ever seen a, a more repulsive being than Mr. James? Uh, no. <laughs> With both men. What else could this guy do but be a professional wrestler? Do a count? Come on. Brandon Scott. Up, oh, look at Ellsworth with that snap jabs. Oh. Uh, Brandon Scott's saying, look, man, I've had enough of this. Yeah. And Scott knows on the horizon. The Shane Shamrock Memorial Cup. Yeah, he's got to get ready for that. I'm Losing wait, I'm waiting for now. production to tell me. We were waiting on notes for that. Oh. Official announcement. Well, while you're waiting for those notes, Brandon Scott finally taking control here in the singles match with James Ellsworth. Good stuff. I'm dealing with tomorrow. You're dealing with Ellsworth, today. I got that. Big flying elbow. And he's starting to feel it. Scott's trying to get this crowd rallied behind him. All right now. Ellsworth takes that uh, shoulder, that back shoulder in the corner. Wow! Big that suplex. Was, that was interesting. That one, two, and then, oh, a little bit slow on the count there, ref. Uh, Just a little bit. Know, I, mean, I think he may have been dealing with the King and Weinberg yeah, on the outside. Yeah, I think outside. he was watching, making sure yeah. there would be no interference. And look, I'm not... I don't know, man. You're you're one of the thank, most thankless jobs in the industry, being a professional wrestling okay. referee. Well, speaking of having to deal with this mess on the outside, McBride's running interference, but Weinberg's over by Brandon oh, Scott. Oh, no, come on. Oh, no. There we go. There well, Miss, we go. Miss, the new Mrs. Scott, I hope she had a wonderful honeymoon. Yeah, that's pretty much all We're downhill. Gonna, uh, Put pause on the uh, baby making the baby around the phone. Oh my goodness. That is what a, a shot. Is a game changer, Deacon Storm. That is. That is. And now Ellsworth acting like he doesn't know what's going oh. on. Catch them with that super kick. Sweet chin. One, two, three. And I just threw up in mine. 